Good morning, my beautiful fellow human beings. Morning water is the best water. Um, by the way, let me know what is the first thing that you do after you wake up. I just randomly thought about it and I would really love to know. Okay, uh, I have been meditating ever since I was a little kid, but there was a phase in my life in which I did not meditate. And I cannot explain to you why, because I knew that it makes me feel good. And I guarantee you that if you have tried meditation and it has worked for you, there will be a, a period in your life in which you will not meditate and you don't understand why either. Or you ultimately feel like if you try to meditate, it will be good for you, but still you don't want to do it. Or maybe you tried it and there are certain things that are happening during the meditation, which make you feel like you're not doing it right and you can ultimately harm yourself. And that's exactly what we're going to talk about today. My name is Christina and as always welcome back to my channel if you're here for the first time then welcome and if you're interested in how to connect yourself to the spirit how to navigate the emotional flow of your being in a sense that you can be healed loved and feel ecstatic and happy and and excited for life so that you can actually ultimately manifest the life of your dreams because you understand who you truly are then hit the subscribe button and the notification bell because that's exactly what we're talking about here on this channel here are three major blocks when it comes to meditation so first of all to even start meditating is a huge block in itself because like i said i don't know why but we sometimes don't want to do things that we know are ultimately good for us and the reason most likely is because our ego wants to live in the comfort zone obviously and therefore anything that will elevate our soul and will get us closer to the spirit the ego doesn't like it because the ego lives in the lower frequency obviously and therefore we would be too far from it to be able to control us free the hair so right from the start i'm going to tell you one huge tip that i have that i have discovered for myself when it comes to starting meditation or even meditating every single day and that is that i meditate the first thing in the morning and the reason why is actually there are several reasons why you should probably meditate in the morning a you are still not having so many thoughts in your head now if you i actually am the type of a person who when i wake up i immediately like i plan 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 I have realized that if I put on the paper the night before all the plans and everything that I need to do, then I don't think about it in the morning anymore. So that's one tip that I can give you right from the start. Another thing that I can tell you is that when you meditate in the morning, there's no food in your body. That means that your body does not have to process anything. It can be fully uh, focused on the meditation, which is very important as well. And when you do it right from the start, you start your day in a very positive manner. You're doing something for, for your soul, for your spirit, for your body, all these three. It's, it's a beautiful gift that you can give to yourself. And at the same time, if you meditate anytime between 3 to 6 a.m., that's Vata time. Vata is connected with the higher spheres, with Akasha, with air. And therefore, it will be much easier for you to be connected with the higher frequency, your spirit being aligned and your soul being aligned with that process in itself. So anytime in between 3 to 6 a.m. is Vata time. And therefore, if you wake up, let's say 5.30, I know that it's really early for some people, uh, but I used to wake up at 5 a.m. and I used to meditate and it was great. Do I do it now? <laughs> I don't because I like to sleep in because I go to bed really late nowadays. So my, my rhythm is uh, different. But at the same time, I would advise who wakes up naturally. Let's say you have to go to work at like 6, you have to leave. Then if you wake up half an hour earlier than normally just to meditate, it's a great way to start your day. So now let's get to the part of the meditation itself. You are meditating and there are certain things that are happening during the meditation, thought processes and emotional processes that you don't feel uh, so happy about, you feel overwhelmed or confused. So number one thing that can happen, which is a huge block, why people don't like to meditate or don't like to continue in meditation is the never ending chit chat of your mind blah 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 you start meditating and the second you start meditating all of a sudden 
because you're trying to make void space in your mind, thoughts from your subconscious are piling up into your conscious and, and you're getting overwhelmed. Let me tell you one thing, when I started frequently meditating, the beginning of the meditation was terrible because I would get such weird thoughts about my own family, people that I love, like, like really nasty stuff. And it made me really disturbed inside at the beginning because I thought, why would I, like, what is wrong with me that I'm thinking all these sorts of things? Now, the funny thing is the point of meditation is that you are nothing. You are no thought, no emotion, nothing. You are this beautiful void yourself. You're, you're the, the balance, the peace, everything. Now, if you are currently in the state of meditation and you're getting all these thoughts about people that you love and you, you're getting freaked out by it or, or it just doesn't feel good whatsoever, then I would suggest that in that moment when that thought comes, if it comes, just let it pass by. Just understand this is not my thought. I am not identified by this thought. I am not letting this thought to become me. I'm not becoming that thought. And the more you do this when you meditate, the more you will realize that those thoughts are not gonna come anymore because they know by now that you are not going to feed your energy to them. Two, being focused. Now, being focused, of course, is not that easy either. There are several ways to be focused and to not be focused. What do I mean by that? I mean, sometimes when, let's say, you're meditating and you start becoming too focused of your own breath. And when I say too focused, it means that you start activating your thoughts again and you start thinking, oh, am I, am I breathing correctly? Am I sitting correctly? Am I, um, am I doing it 10 seconds in and holding it for 10 seconds? This is not good. This is being overly focused on this. The point of meditation is that you don't think everything becomes natural. Now, of course, when you're meditating at the very beginning, this is the start of your meditation, you need to kind of tune in. Even I think everybody kind of needs to tune in. So it will take for some people that like monks, for example, it will take them two seconds, perhaps for some people that are not used to it, it will take them two minutes or, or 20 minutes. It does not matter. The point is be gentle with yourself and every time that you feel too focused on something understand that the point of meditation is not to be focused is to let go sometimes i do have that like for example sometimes if i meditate and i get into that that flow that that state and then it shifts away what happens is like it will throw you off a little bit right so what you do is you learn to just gently bring it back and when it goes away, you again bring it back. I am not really focused on it in the sense of thoughts because thoughts are supposed to be switched off. I am focused on it in the sense of the emotion, the flow that I feel that goes through my body. This is important. Emotion is also information, it's not just thoughts. Actually, for the most part, uh, people believe that the thought creates the emotion. No, it's the emotional information that creates the thoughts also. So when I think about um things when i am in that in that state it it throws me off so when i try to go back and gently bring it back it's not about thinking oh i have to bring it back no 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 there's no thinking i just feel the emotion again i enhance it it starts spreading again and that's how i always gently bring it back and the third one is obviously the fear <laughs> When I was a kid, I, uh, I used to meditate, but I was always scared that somebody's watching me, somebody's with me. It happened to me a few times that I had entities sitting next to me or I could feel the energy or somebody was blowing into my hair when I was meditating and it definitely threw me off. And when I was a kid, I was very scared of those sorts of things. And so um, you have to understand one thing. You don't have to be scared of anything. Why do I say that? Because you're not doing anything wrong. What you're doing with meditating is that you're tapping into your own self. You're not violating any other rules, uh, um, conditions of other realms and stuff like that. You are only tapping into yourself in another realities. You're only realigning yourself. It has been the best decision of my life to start meditating frequently. It makes me a better person. I understand um, the secrets of myself 
uh, it's like a it's like a beautiful uh, process of self-discovery and I wish the same for you and as always thank you so much for watching if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and comment down in the section below if you are currently meditating what are your big blockages because perhaps I can talk about those in the future and maybe um, give you some more tips about it and um, if you are interested in meditation but you do not want to do it alone but you want a guided meditation then I would suggest that you go and you check out my playlist of meditations guided meditations somewhere in here I do have a beautiful love generator meditation which is going to make you feel ecstatic I would also suggest that you go and you check out my seven chakras go love meditation which is I'm so happy uh, about that meditation that's like the best meditation I think I've ever made it is just transforming really try it and let me know and as always until next time light and love see you soon bye